What better way to start off this video other than prayer, which I already did before I started this video. Uh, what better way to start it off than reading the scripture? This is the scripture that the Lord gave to me that he wanted me to put out on this platform. It is Isaiah 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord shines over you. For look, darkness will cover the earth, and total darkness the peoples. But the Lord will shine over you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to your shining brightness. Raise your eyes and look around. They all gather and come to you. Your sons will come from far away, and your daughters on the hips of nannies. Then then you will see and be radiant and your heart will tremble and rejoice because the, because the riches of the sea will become yours and the wealth of the nations will come to you. God highlighted to me, arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord shines over you. Many of you have been in preparation and in the wilderness and you have been in hiding and God is saying, come out of hiding. Your preparation season is over and now it is time for you to arise and shine. The glory of the Lord is upon you. It is on you. You are shining. And so where there is light, light sheds on darkness and so the darkness can be revealed and so that is what you are you are a light bearer you are you are carrying God's glory so everywhere you go you can see the darkness and you can call it out and you can shed a light on that situation with Jesus Christ working in you bringing healing bringing freedom setting the captives free that is what God is calling you to. That's what he calls every single one of us to that give him our full yes. That he wants us to go out and be the light and, and bring that healing, bring that deliverance through Jesus Christ that is in us in Jesus name. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. And don't you forget that. Don't you forget that. The only reason that things wouldn't happen when you're praying is because of if God has set you out to do this is because of lack of faith and so we cannot have that in this hour we cannot have a lack of faith in this hour and I'm speaking to myself as well right now so one key thing that we need to be doing is we need to be going into deeper consecration with the Lord with fasting and praying so that we can increase our faith increase our faith in Jesus so that he can flow out of us naturally okay so that requires us to be at a deeper consecration with the Lord. There's always deeper with him. There's always deeper with him. Okay. Um, so God is saying it, it's time. It is time. It is time. It is time. He is sending you out. He is sending you out to be a light to the nations. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful.